my name is Zena Berkey and welcome to my YouTube channel. In case you are new here, I'm a young adult fiction author and you guys, I have sushi, which means only one thing. It's time to make world's predictions. Oh my gosh, like even saying that, like no joke, gives me anxiety. Like when I was cutting up all the little slips of paper to use, I legitimately cried at one point. Not because I like got hurt or because I was like stressed, but just because of like my raw emotions that still exist over the fact that like a week from now, world's isn't happening. A week from now, I'm not getting on a flight to Worlds. Like, it's it's late as I'm filming this. I'm filming this on Wednesday, just so you guys know my filming schedule, I guess. I should be in Florida right now. I should be in a hotel in Florida, asleep, getting pumped to see everybody practice at the, like, football field tomorrow. Not happening. Um, so as a result of that, I have some stress and anxiety. And in this video, I'm actually only going to be sharing Sushi's predictions. My reason for that is I put a lot of thought and time into my predictions. And I'm honestly a little worried that I'm not, maybe not being as impartial as I should be. Um, so after this video is done, think about it. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to see my predictions? I base my predictions off of a lot of different stuff. I've actually done them already. They are There are some that I like couldn't really choose between two teams. Um, but let me know if you do still want to see it. But I figured for now we'd start by doing Sushi's predictions because Sushi knows what's up. He has a less accuracy, a less, wait, a less, a lower accuracy rate than I do, but he's, he's still cute, so whatever. Um, but I have these little slips, or these little papers that are like fan folded, and each slip, um, each little slot is another division, and each division has its own little slide area. I can't use words, but you'll see. Um, but I'm going to take them out one at a time. I'll announce what division I'm doing, and we'll pick from sushi, and we'll see. I'm not going to tell you guys my opinions yet. Um, if that's something you guys really want, we'll do that video next. But I just have a little bit too much stress to do it right now. So we're just going to hear from Sushi. Uh, we have a lot of divisions to get through. There's 26 in total, including a couple of level 5 divisions. That is because the international cheer schedule is different than America. Um, we'll get to it, you'll see. But in case you get a little confused at that point, we'll go with it. Also, the ones that are currently in Sushi, all the different choices and options, those are only teams that currently have bids. I know there are teams out there that did not get bids yet, but we're planning to at various comps at the end of the season. Um, some, of, some like half year teams, things like that. I understand that those teams exist. Um, however, I knew I would exclude some on accident without meaning to, so I've just skipped all of them. This intro is long enough, though. Let's go ahead and find out what Sushi has to say about what's going to happen at Worlds 2020, the Worlds that never was. <laughs> up first, we have Extra Small All Girl. I got them all in here. Well, let's see what Sushi has to say. According to Sushi, the winner is CJA Bombshells. All right, now it's extra small co-ed, and according to Sushi, the winner is, there they are, all the paper hid from me for a second. Oh, um, Cheerville Athletics Anarchy. All right, up next is Small Senior. Let's see what Sushi says. Oh, what does this say? Stingray's Apple. Not gonna be, not gonna lie, I'm surprised he didn't pick SSX since it's a shark, but you know, he's, Trying to, trying to remain neutral as best he can. Next is Small Senior Co-Ed. This is in a, a division that gives me a lot of anxiety, just in general. And according to Sushi, the winner is Brandon Senior Black. Next is Medium All Girl. And according to Sushi, the winner is, ooh, Stingray's Peach. Medium Co-Ed is up next, and this caused quite the Twitter feud right after NCA. Let's see what Sushi says. Sushi said that Spirit of Texas Royalty is going to take it for worlds. Large all girl. More anxiety on my part. Let's see what Sushi says. According to Sushi, the winner is going to be, ooh, F5. And to everyone else, case dismiss, you tried. Get it? Because it was in their, their mitt. Okay. All right, large co-ed. And my ring's making noise. The winner, according to Sushi, is <gasps> ODT Dream. Guys, oh, I have a lot of emotions because I love them. I love them. So she knew I needed that right now. So up next are some of the level five routines, starting with the 
Um, international Open Level 5, these are again because in international, like, different divisions, some bid awards were given out after. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, we're just gonna we're just gonna pick it and see what Sushi has to say. Sushi said that Pirates Ocean Five or Oceans is going to take the win. Next is International Open Small Coed. There are just two teams in this, and let's see if I can actually pick one of them up. There we go, did it. And according according to Sushi, the winner is going to be Flyers All Star Knockout. The final level five is International Open Large Coed Level Five, and according to Sushi, the winner is going to be. Ace Athletics Ignite. All right, up next is Open Level 6. And according to Sushi, the winner is going to be, there we go, uh, Champion Cheer Heat. Next is Open Small Coed Level 6. And according to Sushi, the winner will be, oh, I grabbed like literally every single paper. There's a seven-way tie. Here we go. Woodlands Elite Gunsmoke. Next is Open Large Coed 6, and according to Sushi, the winner is going to be, couldn't find the paper at first, <gasps> Cali Coed. Up next is International Open, yeah, International Open Level 6. I have to make sure, I have a lot of things written down. All right, according to Sushi, the winner is going to be uh, World Cup Suns. Up next is Small Coed Level 6, International Open. Should say that too. And according to Sushi, the winner is going to be California All-Stars Ghost Recon. Next is International Open Large Coed Level 6. This is a division that last year had a tie. Let's see what Sushi has to say about it for this year. He thinks the winner is going to be Top Gun All-Stars Double O. Up next is International Open Level 7. And according to Sushi, the winner is going to be Vi Queens Cheerleaders Vi Queen Spirit. Next is International Open Small Coed Level 7. According to Sushi, the winner is going to be... California All-Stars Reckless. Next is International Open Large Coed Level 7. And according to Sushi, our winner is going to be... Oh, sorry, I just started hiccuping. It's gonna make for an awkward rest of the video. Uh, Southern Cross Cheer Legacy. Next is International Open Non-Tumbling Level 6. And let's see what Sushi has to say about this. According to him, the winner is going to be Cheer Athletics Scratch 6. And in Co-Ed Non-Tumbling 6, Sushi says the winner will be, couldn't grab a piece at first, uh, Coventry Dynamite Bomb Squad. Although the Essence Squad is a five, so Bomb Five Squad. I, I don't know, sorry. All right, so up next are actually two divisions. I'm gonna pull them back to back, um, but it is International Open Non-Tumbling Level 7. This is something we haven't really seen in the US, but they are doing it um, elsewhere, it appears. And so in International Open Co-Ed Non-Tumbling, there's only uh, Pirate Athletics Hurricane, so they would automatically get that, so congratulations to them. But then we have two that we're gonna, get, that we're gonna put in here for International Open Non-Tumbling 7, so that's all girl. And according to Sushi, the winner will be Alberta Cheer Empire Royalty. All right, second to last division, International Global Level 6, and according to Sushi, the winner is going to be PCT Vengeance. And last division is International Global Coed Level 6, and according to Sushi, our final champion is going to go to, it's the label that says what the division is. Like, can you guys see that? Of course you can't. But it literally says International Global Coed dash level six slash IGC dash six. Oops. Okay, the actual winner is going to be uh, Top Gun Glock six. All right, so that is it for Sushi's predictions. Um, there's definitely some I agree with. There's definitely some I don't agree with. All I know is I wrote down everything. Every single thing is written down that I have been voting for that I think would win. Let me know if you guys want to see it. I have a lot of stress. Like, I really do. Like, I take my world's predictions really seriously, and I try to factor in so many different things, and I feel like this year I don't have that opportunity, which is why I'm so hesitant to share them. Um, but if you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you agree or disagree with Sushi. Remember, he's just a poor little baby shark. Be nice. <laughs> but for real, let me know your thoughts on what he 
um, picks. And the reason I do this, in case I didn't say this at the beginning, the reason I do the like random choosing is because worlds can so much be a crapshoot. Like teams that win every single competition can have a bad run and not win. Teams that fly under the radar all season can jump out in first and win. So it really depends on how you hit, how you perform, everything like that, which is why it's kind of like pulling names from a bag or in my case, pulling names from a shark. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments though. And then finally, make sure you subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you find out as soon as new videos are posted. I'm currently working on filming some iconic cheer routines, um, just like reactions to those, so stay tuned for all of that. Plus, I'm going to be doing some NCA and UCA predictions, and no doubt there will be at least something to do with Worlds over the next two weeks, um, including possibly my predictions. Again, I have so much stress about it. I just really do. And like a lot of, like there's a couple of my things I've written down where I've picked like three winners, two winners, cause I just don't know yet. And to have to make a video about it, it gives me stress. So let me know what you think. Um, all in all though, I hope this video has been fun and entertaining and I hope you guys are all staying safe during this quarantine time. Congratulations to all the winners according to Sushi. If we had some kind of award, I would send them to you. Maybe like goldfish medals, I don't know. Um, but all in all, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you all soon.